This video is a clean girl everyday makeup look without lashes. First, I start by applying my Rimmel London primer. This primer has the ability to control shine for up to 8 hours of the day, which makes it the perfect primer to use on days where I have me tint and I need to look presentable on camera or I want to just run errands or I may have guests in the house and I need to just look good together rather than looking like I just fell out in the gutter okay so after blending this properly with my fingers you can use a brush you can use beauty blender but I like using my fingers because if not it leaves like a white cast or certain edges of my face and I don't like it so I then go in my beauty by AD eyebrow pencil there are several reasons why I love this actual pencil one is because is the actual color of my brow like i used to see how it just blends similarly with my brow color like it's so perfect and i like the fact that it has a spoolie and the pencil it wants to so just very nice because i need to go out and i don't want to carry more than one product at the same time so i fill in my brows by defining my tail of my brow first and ensuring that it's looking perfect then going to have like leather like strokes to just get the front part working well and just define underneath my brow properly making use of my black opal stick foundation this is an actual foundation guys but when i ordered it i ordered it in like two shades darker than my skin tone and i couldn't let it just waste because we cannot let things just waste many have so i converted it into a contour and applied it in the certain areas of my face using my new Balm beauty in my skin concealer i'm just using to apply underneath my eye to cover up those dark circles that I have there and right now I'm making use of my real techniques beauty blender to blend out my contour i like doing this first because i like to see structure appear on my face first and i like the fact that i'm just blending it in that actual position so that i can give my face a certain structure and it's not looking like somebody punched me in the face so keeping it into certain areas where you have like a natural shadows will go a long way and when you are blending it you don't want to be moving it you see the way i'm making just slight tap 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 on my face here that's how you want to blend it and when you are blending your forehead you want to blend it backwards so that it looks like it's coming from your hairline down to the center of your forehead that's where you want to go at it and you can take your time with it so that you don't have any harsh line that is formed at the end of the day so using the same beauty blender the top of that beauty blender the apex yeah is that what it's called yeah the apex i'm using it to just blend my under eye where i applied my concealer and i'm using the same motion i used to blend my contour i'm just pressing it into my skin and i don't really want it to spread more than where i applied it because i'm not going for a full face of makeup glam so i just want to just keep it there and hide my dark under eye i'm using whatever is left from what i have my beauty blender to go over to my eyelid because it serves as an eye primer that's one and i can use it to lift the hyperpigmentation that i have on my eyelid because it's kind of dark sometimes on some days when i like sleep and this day was a day where i was lacking sleep so it was very very useful to hide that dark eye that i had on my eyelid so doing the same for the other eye and just blending it properly i ensure that it's blended properly because if it's not blended properly i go ahead and set it with powder you're going to have it creased on the eye and even with the clean girl makeup look you don't have to be looking like it's ashy then going over with my la girl pro concealer this is the my actual in my skin concealer so i used to just give myself a little bit of coverage a little bit of coverage you saw how i applied it very tiny so just to cover up a little bit of what in my in my skin concealer could not cover because that one is close to my skin too but this one just adds a little bit of tone and brightness onto it so using this flat brush and setting powder i can't really remember the one i used but kind of any setting powder that i have or a pressed powder that i know that i can give you setting feel so i just applied it onto my eyelid then before you want to blend underneath your eye as well you need to go in with your beauty blender to avoid any line or crease that has been formed while you are blending or while you were setting your upper lid yeah so i just did that then use that same brush to just use my pressed powder and then set underneath my eye so that it's not too cakey it's not looking too dramatic and it looks very very natural because i found out using this brush than using like that powder puff i pack less product and very easy to blend as compared to that powder puff and this one gives me that lasting matte under eye effect that i like to retain for the certain hours i want to keep this makeup on on my face to define my brows i make use of the elegant pro concealer and i like the fact that the way it's designed 
it just makes things easier for me to just define my brows with the in-built brush she has in it and i like the fact that it's two shades higher than my skin tone so it makes it easier for me to just highlight that part make use of the same beauty blender i've made use of from the beginning of this video guys to just blend underneath my brows properly because i like the fact that that part of the beauty blender has this curved nature that allows me to just keep my product exactly where i want to blend it in and does not transform my product to other areas because you will not like that okay so this just to help me highlight that brow part of my face and to give it a lifted look and then i go ahead to set it with my pressed powder and my flat brush for my eyeshadow i make this of my real techniques brush pairing it with the jacqueline murphy hill eyeshadow palette and this is the color i'm making use of this color is the exact tone of my skin for my eye area and i want to use as my first color to just give this a very natural very natural look so when i'm done blending this properly i go in with this shade that has a reddish undertone so that it just looks like okay i have a color up there above my crease and then when you look down to my actual eyelid there's nothing there so i take my time to blend it properly because i don't want any harsh line to be formed and i want it to look very natural and then i bring it to the beginning part of my eye to form like a nose contour is being formed for underlining my waterline i make use of my beauty by ad brow pencil this is the one i use for my brows and it's super amazing that it's the same color as my lash line and that is a brown color it's still softer than using black you can make use of black pencil but i like the fact that with the brown it makes me retain that everyday clean girl nature but makes my eye look much more awake i do my best to just keep it where my waterline is because i'd not to look like i'm going for like makeup makeup look i don't look like it's my natural eye my natural waterline and i just want it to be like that and the fact that it helps my eye to look much more awake and ready for action is perfect before i go in my zion lightning mascara i make it with my lash coiler and i have seen with my eyes that on days where i don't make use of this lash coiler my mascara game is not always the best but there are times whereby you just see one lash strand just standing pointing forward and not curved up but with the lash coiler it helps to just prep my lashes makes everything curled up and everything will align the way it's meant to align and with this mascara it helps to lengthen my lashes okay going in from the top to the bottom and i take my time to do this because i don't want to rush this because i'm not going with lashes like i said earlier in this video i'm not going with lashes so i want it to still have that look that i see i'm having lashes on but i'm not having like dramatic lashes so for my foundation i'm making use of newborn beauty in my skin foundation and if you're an og you know this foundation yeah i've said a lot about this guy and the fact that i can work my way up with this guy for like soft glam everyday makeup or heavy glam makeup as well so pairing it with my foundation brush i'm just using it to just blend it properly and ensure that i have transferred it to areas that have hyperpigmentation so this part as well you do not want to rush this part okay you want to take your time to blend it properly and ensure that there's no harsh line and it is looking like it's your skin like name says so after blending it to my satisfaction i go in with that same beauty blender guys to just absorb any excess because when you use a dry beauty blender it helps to absorb any excess that you have placed on your skin and it does help you have a softer skin like finish using that same eyeshadow brush that i use for my eyes i'm just going to use it to just do my nose contour and you can see the same shade from that from that color i used on my crease but for my contour part i'm making with the kevin O'Quinn contour powder i need to just set the areas where i applied contour onto my face and this contour brush just helps me to just keep the contour in areas where it needs to be for my blush guys for this everyday look i already have this orange color that looks so nice for women of color but i didn't have that color in my blush palette so i went in with that with adventure makeup eyeshadow palette and then blended the two colors together to get this look i'm having right now you want to take your time to blend this guys you do not want to rush it okay so after i blend it with satisfaction i go in with my brow pencil this is the Davis Brow Pencil and it's very popular in Lagos, Nigeria. So I go over this couple times to get that shade of darkness that I want. And for my bottom lip, because I don't want it to be that dark as my upper lip, because I have two toned lips, I go in with my Beauty by AD Pencil. And you guys can see the way I'm using 
one product for different purposes, one beauty blender for different purposes. So this is the way I make sure that I have a clean space to work with every single time. So I'm making use of a nude matte lipstick for that inner part of my lip. And then going back to outline my brow because in this is of blending, I lost the structure of my line that I needed to get for my upper lip. So I went back with it and then I'm applying this Zyron Clear Lip Gloss. It has a little bit of shimmer. I can't really see the name right now but it has cleared up because I've had this for years guys but it still does wonders. I like the way it gives me that clear shimmer glossy feel and there's not leave that white cast in the middle of my lip that I hate so much. So after doing this I then go with my mineral finishing powder by Nuban Beauty and it just helps to make my makeup just look like one like there's no separation there's no demarcation so after applying my powder going in with the so cool cosmetics hydra mist setting spray to just set my face and this is the finished look guys this is how we are looking like and this is how I achieve my clean girl everyday makeup without lashes bye